These blues are here to stay Dave Hall there from his brand new album, Going Back Down. And I just happen to have Dave on the phone right now, all the way from Western Australia. Can you hear me, Dave? I can, Irene. How are you? I'm great. As our first successful blues export, Dave Hull can surely lay claim to being one of Australia's most respected elder statesmen of the blues. Internationally, Hull is widely regarded as one of the all-time slide guitar greats who's playing is infused with the spirit of such legends as Elmore James, Dwayne Allman and Johnny Winter. Nine successful albums and countless tours of the US and Europe have solidified Hull's statue as one of the very best slide guitarists playing today and seen him headlining festivals well, all across the world. It's quite exhausting reading your your biography there, Dave. Very impressive indeed. <laughs> yes. Yeah, thanks. Um, I couldn't have written it any better myself. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, you're actually no stranger to Cairns either, are you? No, no. I've been there a few times. Uh, the old Jono's Blues Bar days and um, always had a great time. Love Cairns. Who doesn't? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're loving it about this time of year because uh, uh, we've, yeah. we've got autumn, so uh, we we love this time of the year. Anyway, it's lovely to have you on the phone. And I must say that when I received your album and uh, I put it out there on uh, social media on Facebook, and just, uh, you know, I said, "Oh, I've just received Dave Hull's new album, and I'm just loving it." And honestly, people did come from all over the world because I got a few Facebook friends, about five thousand of them. <laughs> And people oh, were commenting right. from all over the world saying how much they love your music and uh, love you as an artist. That's very, very, um, well, I don't know what, it's very, it's very nice to know and, uh, yeah, it's really good, really good. Well, I know um, you've said that this album uh, is a long, has been a long time coming, so tell us about that and why. Well, um, it's actually been 10 years since my last released, released album, um, and I, I sort of, I had had what did I have? It was the, that was my ninth album, that one. This is the tenth now. And I suppose I'd just been in that cycle of of uh, touring for twenty five years. I've been touring and making an album, then go back out overseas and whatever. And um, I got to a point where I just I, 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 being burned out is not the right expression. It was just that I kind of thought I got I just wanted to step back from that cycle and. Um, so I spent uh, a little bit of time doing all sorts of things, you know, traveling a bit and uh, just hanging out with friends, doing what I think most people would call just living <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with, with uh, musicians. It's just kind of a strange life when you're on the road most of the year and, and when you're not on the road, you're in a recording studio and stuff. So you, you don't, you know, I just felt the need, uh, I suppose it was at that age where I felt the need to sort of just do a few other things and I was playing tennis and doing stuff. So I kind of got, I kind of, uh, you know, what's the story? You know, got got. I was stopped to smell the roses. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, got a bit, got a bit sort of sidetracked. But um, then, then of sort of about four four years ago, I decided to make another album. I was really ur- itching to do it. I mean, having said this, I w- I never stopped playing. I was always doing a few shows, and, right. and you know, I, it's what I love to do. But uh, I hadn't made an album. But I decided <laughs> I would do one and. I, I came up with the idea or, you know, it, it, it sort of attracted me to be able to do it at a slower pace, at a more leisurely pace, um, because um, the previous albums have mostly been done in something of a hurry. You sort of get into a studio for a couple of weeks and um, you get the recording done and then there's, you know, the record company's got the, the release date and the street date and then you get out on tour and... And it's uh, it's all kind of orchestrated, and uh, a fair bit of pressure time-wise. And um, you don't have the luxury, or I haven't had the luxury, of sort of getting in the studio and just sort of having fun and spending time working on the songs. So this time I decided that's what I would do, and um, and it sort of came about at a time when um, you know just the last five years I think that the recording technology, the um, software that 
versions of, of recording technology have improved to the to, to the point where it was really easy to set up a home studio to do a lot of what I wanted to do. Which I, so that was another learning curve, setting that up and doing that. And um, I mean, I've recorded some of the songs and some parts in the, in the bigger studio, but the mixing and the you know just doing bits and pieces I've done at home, and that's a wonderful thing to be able to do because you get up in the morning and you know if you feel inspired you just jump in there and do something and if you don't well you just wait till tomorrow sort of thing <laughs> yes. um, why do today what you can put off until tomorrow yeah, yeah that's right <laughs> well that's a, that sounds like cans talking <laughs> <laughs> exactly um, but uh, yeah so so it's it's ended up taking a long time but it's been great fun and and the really uh, leisurely thing but but a lot of fun for me and I've also done a bit more variety in the in the choice of songs because I just decided to do what I wanted to do, and um, in in many respects this album is the one that I made just for myself and just hope that other people will like it um, without too much reference to what people might expect of me. Yeah, um, well, I certainly like it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think oh, there's a track on there I don't like. But uh, oh, that's great, Irene. Yeah. Great now, to hear. unfortunately, I, I've never had the the, uh, the privilege to see you perform live, um, but I have been playing your music uh, on my you know, radio shows for quite some time. I've been I've been doing this show uh, in particular for uh, about seven and a half years now up here in Cairns oh. and uh, yeah. pre- previously I was down at Two Bob Radio in Taree. But uh, yeah, I've been a fan of yours for a long time and coincidentally just, oh, look, you know, just a couple of weeks ago or maybe three weeks ago, I played one of your tracks and I was, I was sort of like, well, I wonder what ever happened to him. I, don't, I haven't heard yeah. anything of his for, for a long time. And then blow me down, I get, uh, you know, a, an email from uh, Annie uh, saying, uh, new CD out from Dave Hole. I'm like, oh, wow, yeah. this is so good. Yes, I think it was. Uh, it was getting to the point, I think, where I had to do something, or else people were starting to wonder <laughs> if I was still around. Yeah. Um, and so, but, uh, you, I'm, but I'm back now. Yeah, that's great. Welcome back. Hey, um, so you say you know you've still been playing a few gigs, but I take it you've just been playing over there in Perth, have you? Mostly, Mostly in Perth. Yeah, I've, I've done a couple of. Uh, a couple of little minor festivals and they, oh well you know just one offs um, just to keep the hand in them or when people sort of pester me to do something I've done a couple of things but and also just like playing with a few mates around and jamming and stuff so I, I, I've kept my chops up and kept my hand in you know playing wise I, there's no problem there but um, I just sort of stepped back from the industry I guess you could say yeah. for, for a few years and um, and it's been good I feel quite refreshed and uh and I'm quite happy to to um, to get out there. I'm well. I'm actually itching to get out. There <laughs> good, more, good. Uh, more. Yeah. No, I mean, goodness me. There's so many people that you've uh, played with and been involved with, and you've travelled so much. Have you missed that travelling at all, or you not really? Or uh, no, I haven't missed the travelling. No. Um, I miss the I miss the performing. Like you know, the life on the road uh, in America and Europe, and that is is all about you know it's it's all about <laughs> airports and hotels and, yeah. and uh stuff and and sort of um you know doing doing press and interviews and stuff and then sound checks and all that and the one, and the highlight of the day is always getting on stage and playing but the rest of the time can be quite grueling and you you end up not getting much sleep because it's the pressure of getting to the next city i mean in america we pretty much do one night or so we we're in a different city every night and um, you do that for a few weeks, it starts to become a bit, a bit of a, a you know, can, can be not the greatest thing. But, uh, but you have a lot of fun at the same time. It's, it's a love-hate thing. You, the travel per se, like sitting on airplanes, I mean, you know, that's one of the problems being in Australia is every time you go anywhere, it's, it's uh, well, I was going to say, you know, cut lunch in a water bag. But yeah. it's, you know, <laughs> you've, got, you've got a 20-hour tra- uh, plane trip or somewhere to get, to the northern, you know, to Europe or America. Yeah. So it's all, all kind of um, quite fatiguing if you're jumping backwards and forwards at, at times. Now, uh, you actually, you were born in England. So what age did you uh, come out here? Well, I was four when I when I came right. to Australia, yep. to Perth here. 
So, um, like almost an Aussie, you know. I yeah. Mean. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Now, look, looking back, I know this is going to be a bit of a tough question because um, you've done so much, you've been everywhere. Can you, of all those fabulous years and meeting all those other artists, you know, can you think of one one? I mean, I'm sure there's been many highlights, but is there something that comes to mind that was just really something so special for you in your career? Um, well, there's a few sort of choice little things, and it depends whether you're talking about gigs, you know, like the actual performances, or whether you're talking about meeting someone or doing something yeah. particular. Um, I mean, I've had a few highlights in my life. I think being discovered, as it were, when I was 42 years old by... Um, by um, Guitar Player magazine in in America and and signing up with Alligator Records in America, that was like a whole a huge uh, period, of, you know, short period of my life when everything just exploded and I became able to tour internationally. So that that's kind of a, like a highlight of my life, sort of thing. As far as like performing and that, um, we've had some amazing, well, oh, just like <laughs> done some huge shows where. You know, thousands of people and that sort of thing. But um, I think one of them that always sticks in my mind because it's so special was the Royal Albert Hall in London. And I think it's because it's just such an amazing building and it's got such a vibe about it. It's um, really special to play there. And um, so I always remember those couple of shows we did there. And um, and then there was the first show I ever did in America when I was just you know went over there to promote the first album. And that was. I landed right in it because I, we went to Buddy Guy's Legends and Buddy Guy himself is a legend. And yep. He's got a club. Yep, I've been there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. And we got we went there and and uh, did our first show and it was absolutely packed and um, all the press were there and Buddy was there. I met him and he's been a hero of mine virtually all my life. So that was an extraordinary night and a sort of baptism of fire, really getting to the States and playing there and... Um, well, yeah, and meeting, uh, yeah, meeting the, the people you meet that, well, for me personally, being a blues nut, you know, all my life, I've, I grew up, you know, sitting in my bedroom throughout my teenage years listening to blues and trying to learn how to play play the guitar and stuff. And uh, so Otis Rush, for example, was one of my big heroes, and I learned all his songs um, when I was <laughs> sitting in my bedroom when I was 16. And... Um, and I got to play. Well, actually, he came to my uh, show. Wow! Uh, when I was performing in <laughs> Chicago, he came twice to my shows in Chicago, and both times he, I talked to him into jumping up and playing with us, and uh, that was fantastic. Like, and I got him to sing, and it was uh, it was great. I played all the guitar. Yeah, I played all the guitar parts that. Uh, from his records and he, he was quite amazed because I you know I'd absorbed the yes I've copied them off him wow but that, was, that was brilliant that was a brilliant night the, the the one that he did where we played we played for about an hour and a half together and um fantastic um, yeah and and Buddy Guy has become a good friend John Mayle also is uh, a, a, another person I've got to be quite friendly with and um John's a nice very nice bloke and um meeting him was a real a real thrill for me. We played a, a festival. He was headlining the festival, and I was like the second on the bill, sort of thing. So I played just before him, and um, I came off stage and I, I uh, stood around. I was standing at the side of stage waiting for John to come on, my one of my heroes to come on and play. And I got a tap on the shoulder, and it was him. And I turned around, like, <laughs> and he said, "Oh, Dave, Dave." He said, "I'm a big fan of yours." Oh, wow! <laughs> I've, been, I've been playing your record, you know, your uh, CD in the tour bus here, and all that sort of. Thing. And um, that was that blew me away. You know, those are the moments that you you find um, almost. Um, surreal really. yes um well he's got a brand new album out as well he's got a 2018 yeah. album out yeah yeah yes and he's even older than i am <laughs> i've got it on my playlist today as a matter of fact so i will play that a little bit later but uh just yes. briefly getting back i know we're running out of time now but briefly getting back to the uh royal albert hall i i get that because uh i went to a performance there back in the 70s and saw Dionne warwick there and it's yeah there's just it's just 
like I don't know. It's just huge, isn't it? In this, it's it's amazing place. Yeah, it's yeah. there's something very special about that, it. That's it's what kind of what I mean. Yeah, that's, that's just yeah, incredible. The atmosphere is brilliant. Oh well, um, um, the time has gone really quickly. <laughs> I think we've just about run out of time, but our allotted yeah. time anyway. But is there anything else? I'm going to play another track. Last week I played the first two tracks from the album, and I just played "These Blues Are Here to Stay." I'm going to play uh, the next track after. Um, we say goodbye, measure of a man. Is there anything about the album uh, that you want to add still? Um, no, I think there's, there's a, there is a variety on it, but it's still loaded up with a lot of blues because that's what I, that's who I am, really. Yeah. Um, you know, slide guitar blues. It, there's a lot of that on there, but but there is a quite a variety. I think in the I think measure of a man, which you if you're going to play that, is a little bit different than anything I've done before because it uses my. Um, my acoustic resonator guitar is the main backbone of that song, and um, so it's not so full-on electric, but it, uh, it's a nice song, I think. I like it. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, w- what I would like to say to your listeners is that I'm really sorry I'm not getting to Cairns this um, particular tour, but I really hope that I... I'd really like to do another Australian tour, perhaps in October, and maybe get, get up there um, at that time. I'd really like to because, um, well for my own selfish reasons because I love the place. <laughs> yeah, but good also on you. So that uh, catch up with the, some of the fans and friends up there. Well, it's been fabulous to talk to you. I've been playing this guy's music for uh, several years, as I said, and uh, never met you and never seen you perform live, so it's lovely to be well, able to at least talk uh, to you. Well, we have to meet. We have to meet soon. <laughs> yeah, I might to have to it. get to one of those other venues on your tour. I'll have to check it out and uh, see if yeah. there's something I can get to. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a bit far. I think the Gold Coast is as close as I get to you, which is yeah. a long way. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll see how we go. Thank you so much, Dave. Yeah. Thank you, Irene. It's been a pleasure talking. Likewise. Cheers. I'm going to play this song now. <laughs> 